Hi everybody, my name is Scott and I'm with ProScore and today we're going to cover how to use iPads for score entry with ProScore using our iKeypad connections. Uh, what you're going to need for this is you're going to need um, ProScore, you're also going to need our iKeypad connections, and you're going to need uh, some iPads. Um, the iPads that you can use for this can be any uh, iPad. They can be a minis, regular size, big pros. Um, they all have to just be able to run iOS 8 or newer, which is it's quite old. Um, I think the only iPad that you can't use is the first ever generation iPad made 10, 11 years ago. It's the only one you can't use. Other than that, they just need to be minimum configuration, Wi-Fi only, no 3G, uh, minimum memory, you know, nothing fancy, you know, don't spend a lot of money on, go scour eBay or Amazon for uh, certified refurbished ones. Um, uh, nothing special, nothing, nothing fancy, no high power uh, requirements at all. Um, also, the uh, iKeypad connections, uh, the license for those is a connection license. It's not a device license. Um, which means that you can use any iPads that you want from meet to meet to meet. Um, there's no license code or anything like that it goes on the iPads. Um, that just goes on your scoring computer. And that license tells uh, your computer how many uh, iPads can be used for scoring uh, at one time. Um, so if you have a battery in an iPad die and you have to switch it out and change it for another one, Absolutely no problem because just one connection drops and a new connection gets made. Um, it works great for um, you know borrowing iPads. Um, if you don't own enough, you can borrow iPads from from anybody because the app that you need on the iPads is free. Um, it doesn't cost anybody to put it on there, um, and there's just you know have to get it connected to your network and then you can use it. And we're going to go through all that right now. Uh, how to get it all set up and uh, get the computer set up, get your iPad set up and configured and talking and how to enter scores and the whole nine yards. So uh, sit back and let's uh, go through really quickly and um, it's really easy and you'll be a pro in no time. So this is my iPad screen here and um, I've got the Apple, um, I mean, the iKeypad app already downloaded and installed on it. And then here's my uh, laptop screen. Uh, we'll start here first. So um, I already have ProScore installed and downloaded. Um, ProScore comes with another program called ScoreGen. This will automatically appear on your desktop when you download and install ProScore. So if you already have ProScore installed, this icon is most likely already on your desktop. This is the software that is used for communicating and dealing with and managing all of the iPad connections. So that's the program that we want to start with. So I'm going to go ahead and run it. And it's going to come up. There we go. And uh, the first thing we need to do is go into setup. So I'm going to click on the setup utilities tab and click on the setup icon. And on this setup screen, we need to change some configurations than what comes up by default after the software is installed. Uh, first, we need to uncheck the use junction box and radio junction box option. Um, you don't, most likely don't have that. Uh, if you do have it and you're using them, you'll know what they are. Um, and you'll probably want to leave those checked. Um, it's a device, a USB device that um, works with our older keypads and scoreboards that we manufacture. Um, so if you don't have that device, you definitely want to uncheck it. Otherwise, uh, ScoreGen will be complaining that it can't find it. Um, and now we want to enable the iKeypad connections. Um, and that allows us to um, go down to this screen or this portion where we can put in our registration code and create a password. So the first thing I'm going to do is put in the registration code. Now, this is the code that you would have received from us in an email after you purchased your licenses. Um, you do need to call us to order those. Um, they can be either purchased outright and then you own them forever, or you can rent them on a meet-by-meet -meet basis. Just give us a call 
and we can discuss all the ins and outs of which might be better for you. Um, and then you'll receive an email from us uh, with your registration code for it. And I just got a sample up here. Uh, don't try using this code in the future because it's only going to be good for this purposes of this demo. But you'll receive an email very uh, exactly like this saying that you have a uh, registration for Proscore I keypad with four connections in this case, uh, with the name of our uh, the name of your gym would be here, and then you'd have your code. So I'm just going to copy this code here. And um, yeah, copy. And I'm going to switch back over to the ScoreGen program, and I'm going to click on this button to enter a registration code. And it already came up with my name because I already have ProScore installed and registered. So it's going to be the same name. And I'm just going to paste in the code that I got off the email. Um, and just click OK. And that's going to uh, verify that. And it'll come back and tell me how many connections I have allowed. And in this case, it knows that it's a rental code, which means it's going to expire. Um, and uh, I'm good. If you don't see this rental, then you have a permanent license and it will not expire. So the next thing we have to do is we need to create a password. Now, this is a password that the iPads will use to log into ScoreGen when they connect. Um, it just needs to be a uh, minimum of eight characters, needs to have an upper and lower case letter, a number, and some kind of special character like an exclamation mark or a pound sign or something. So. I'm just going to make up a, a password here. I'm going to call it test meet with capital T's and capital M. Uh, one exclamation mark. I think that should do it. Um, now, the next thing we need to do is we need to set up keypad IDs. These are going to be an ID that will uh, help associate the iPad with an event so that ScoreGen knows that this particular iPad is going to be entering the vault scores versus the beam scores or the floor scores. So we just need to come up with some IDs. They're really just numeric numbers. Um, to make it really simple, we'll just use 01, 02, 03, and 04. So for vault, we'll just type in 01, click add. Bars, we'll type in 02, click add. And then beam, we'll do 03. And then add, and then floor, we'll do 04. And add. Very simple. We have one, two, three, and four. Super simple. Now we'll click OK to that. Um, we're done entering our IDs. We've got our registration code entered, and we've got a password. We are done with the setup. We're all finished. So we just close the setup screen, and now we're back here at our main ScoreGen screen. Um, we just want to leave this program open right now because we're going to move on to our iPad. Um, the iPads connect to your computer, but more importantly, they're connecting to this program, to ScoreGen in particular. So if we don't have this program open, the iPads have nothing to connect to. So we want to make sure that, Pro, that ScoreGen in particular is open. You do not have to have ProScore open. Um, but you do need to have ScoreGen open. It does not need to be started yet, um, but it just needs to be open so that it's there and it's listening for iPads to connect and it'll, it'll um, actually respond to that. So let's switch over to my iPad here. I already have the um, iKeypad app already downloaded from our website. Sorry, not our website, the Apple App Store. Um, let me switch over here real quick and I'll show you. This is uh, the Apple's App Store web, uh, web view, but this is what the, um, uh, you want to search for. So just search for ProScore iKeypad. It is free um, and it is designed specifically for iPads. Uh, so just go grab that, download it onto your iPads, and, um, and you'll be good to go. So I have the uh, app already downloaded here. Um, on my iPad, and I'm just going to go ahead and um, I'm going to tap on it to run it, and it's going to come up. And um, it already, when it comes up automatically, it's immediately going to scan my network for any uh, computers out there that have ScoreGen running on it. Now, 
it is very important that your iPad and your uh, computer be on the same Wi-Fi network. Okay, my um, my laptop is connected to um, that's well, it's hardwired to my to my home network. So I'm, I'm at home right now. It's hardwired to my home network, and my iPad. If I switch over to uh, settings, and you can see that I'm connected currently to my uh, my home network as well. So I'm on the same Wi-Fi network. So we'll go that. We'll come back to the app. Again, when it comes in, it's going to immediately scan the network, looking for any uh, computers that have ScoreGen on it. And it came up with this IP address, which happens to be the IP address of my laptop with ScoreGen on it. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap on that IP address, and it's going to put a little check mark next to it to select it. And then the remaining things I have to do is give this um, iPad its password, which is the password we made up earlier. So that was capital test, capital T, capital M for meet, and then one uh, exclamation mark. Uh, return. And then uh, our keypad ID. Now this is just a scrollable list of keypad IDs that you can that you can select from. Um, we used one, two, three, and four. So if I want to set this say to be 02, that'll make it bars because um, two is what we put in for bars. Um, that's it. I just have my password. I have a keypad ID, and I've selected the IP address that I want to connect to, and I'm going to tap done, and it's going to. There, now at the bottom it says it's connected to ScoreGen and it's waiting for system startup initialization. That's exactly what you want to see. So now, if, I, if you notice over here on my laptop screen, this radio status popped up because my uh, iPad connected to the laptop. And now I can see the connected iPad, how much battery it has what ID number it is, what event it's assigned to, and what judge number it is. Uh, so this is perfect. Uh, it's, this is an option, or, or sorry, a, an awesome screen to have open while the meet's running because you can see how much battery your iPads have, and it's a great way of monitoring it. Um, you're sitting back at the head table and everything's running all by itself, and you can just sit there and watch the battery and make sure that um, your iPad batteries are not draining too fast and things like that. And if one gets too low, at least you can respond to it before, before it, it happens, it, it, it uh, dies. And if you see you're supposed to have four iPads connected and you look at your list here and it only has three, then um, you should be able to tell based on the events uh, which one is no longer connected. And maybe you can be a little proactive on uh, um, figuring out why that iPad's not connected anymore. Um, all we have to do now in order for um, uh, to use this for scoring, because you can see the iPad is uh, basically waiting for system startup and initialization. It means it's connected and it's just waiting to be told what event it is and that we should actually start scoring. So to do that, in ScoreGen, we simply need to select what session it is we want to score. In this case, we're just going to choose session one and click Start. And now the iPad will switch over and it will go into a scoring mode. So what this is showing us is, um, this is showing us that we have um, uh, three kids in this session. Um, this is bars, so they would be put into uh, squad B, because they'd be starting on starting on bars, they'd be in squad B. And um, it's showing that we're in rotation one, flight A. Um, it's showing that we're connected to our server, that I'm ID number two, judge one. So uh, from a judging standpoint, um, really all I have to do is enter the number of the girl that I want to score. I can just type in 101 and tap select. Or the easiest thing, is just to tap on her name. So if I tap on Susie Summersall here, it's going to select her and slide over, and now I'm scoring Susie. So 
it's already highlighted on judge one that's where the little blue highlight is so so that's where it's if i enter a score that's where it's going to go in so i'll give her a score of nine three press enter it's immediately going to move down to judge two i'll put her say a nine five press enter and that's going to give her an average score of nine four um, if um, i need to change my score i can tap on one of these existing ones and i can i can change the score and um, correct it if it was entered wrong uh, until I have everything correct. And when I'm all done, I just click save and that'll save the score and um, come back here where the judge can pick the next, um, the next athlete. And that's really all there is to it. Uh, in a nutshell, the uh, setup on the uh, screen here, we just got to put our registration code in, password, and define the keypad IDs that are here. If you do have more than four, you can put in other IDs for judge two. Um, and then you would have say eight IDs. You'd have a vault judge one and a vault judge two ID. They'd all be different IDs. So you'd have like say 01 through 08. Um, and those would all go in there. And then the iPads, if you're a judge two iPad, um, it does work off of the, um, so if, I'm just going to put in 05 in here, say, for Judge 2 on Vault, for example. And if I start this up and I come back over to my iPad and I make it Judge 5, 05, and it done, you'll see that it's going to say that it is Judge 2 on Vault. And it is just waiting for the head judge to select an athlete. So judge two does nothing. It's waiting for judge one to select the athlete. And when they do, um, this iPad will automatically activate and ask for judge two for, for uh, their score. And when they hit save, it's, that score is sent to the head judge's iPad. So they kind of work together uh, and collaborate uh, through the network. And, um, and uh, that's how you can have multiple iPads um, working together that way. So um, that is about it. I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions uh, about this, please uh, reach out to us, send us an email to support at aegroup.com. Uh, you can also give us a call and we'd be more than happy to help you out and assist you with anything that you might need. So uh, with that, I think I'll end the, the video and um, have a good day.